uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, um, I'm not uh, doing any research on um, Chinese characters. Um, basically, I'm a historian of science. Uh, within uh, the Chinese character uh, circle, what we call the in 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 Putonghua, Hanzi Wenhua Chan, in Japanese Kanji Bunkaken. And uh, I remember the decades and decades ago, uh Sowa period, when I was a graduate student uh, studying in Kyoto. And um, the uh, atmosphere here is basically uh, very strict uh, training in reading uh, Chinese characters within uh, those uh, the, the, the ancient texts, uh, mostly uh, Pi Ching, Pi Ching, pre-1644 edition. I can borrow from the library now. M uh, most of them preserve as the uh, rare books, uh, regarded as rare books here. And my talk uh, uh, could be say uh, not uh, my uh, current uh, project. Uh, my current project uh, uh, is a little bit shift to Islamic study, and uh, because uh, I, 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 uh, on this occasion I returned to Kyoto University, so I have to just uh, add something uh, different or, or, or new uh, uh, topics uh, within my the, 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 uh, my current uh, talk. And I would try to skip. Uh, as a common knowledge to all of you familiar about the scientific revolution and particular uh, what we call the uh, telescopic discovery uh, by Galileo. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, about the Dutch, uh, it's not so convenient. The first news of invention of an instrument able to enlarge distant images dates from September 1608, when when this the glass maker uh, Hans Lippert applied to the Dutch government for an for an ex exclusive patent. Here's the uh, the portrait. Uh, I'm going to try to skip because uh, he's not the, uh, the main uh, people concerned. Uh, when Galileo taught at the University of Padula, he devoted himself to fabricating scientific instruments. He therefore uh, had an opportunity to, uh, I think, he, he, he um, as an instrument maker, he designed uh, quite a number of uh, devices, uh, say it, uh, telescope, and uh, uh, and some sort of uh, some of the uh, what we call the calcul calculating uh, device, a uh, computation device, and uh, here's the uh, picture uh, that uh, illustrate here to demonstrate observational uh, practice uh, before. The Pope, and he published the books on the uh, uh, geometrical compass. This is for military use. And between um, 1608 and 1609, Galileo received news of Dutch spyglass and may have had the opportunity to examine one of them. Immediately fascinated by the new device, he dedicated himself to improving its power of magnification. In late 1609 and early 1610. He managed to increase his magnifying power from the original two to three times to 30 times. Um, thanks to his perfecting work, the telescope lost his original Dutch connotation and became instrument of Galileo, and he called it uh, Chanicha. And, and that Italian uh, translation firstly appeared in, uh, in addition, uh, seven, published in Macau, 1775. A 51, you can see that. Chen uh, Jian, Chen Yi Zha. And 
in March of 1610, Galileo announced his first extraordinary astronomical discoveries made with his telescope, the Cousin of Star, that made up the, of the Milky Way, the, ter- the terrestrial nature of the moon, and the presence of four new celestial bodies orbiting around Jupiter. Then the discovery were uh, greeted with amazement all over Europe, but the following month brought others equally important. The presence of spots on the surface of the sun, the face of Venus and the strange aspect of Saturn. Then's discovery changed the traditional will of the cosmos and launch of revolutionary projects that unify the physical laws governing celestial and terrestrial bodies. Here is the, uh, uh, um, that I, 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 I took the photo from uh, Galileo the Museum at uh, Florence, Italy. And uh, this is the lens uh, preserved in Florence uh, uh, of the Galilean telescope. And he published that uh, the uh, celestial uh, uh, messenger, or translated into uh, in English, asteri messengers. And this is about the uh, observation of the uh, lunar surface. And this is uh, the other different uh, refractive uh, telescope uh, being made by the, his uh, student, uh, Christopher Sinai. The same method also introduced to China just uh, 10 or 20 years later, the telescope. Ah. Okay, now we move to the Jesuit language policy and cultural recommendation. When Europeans began to span the global world by regular selling routes, Dominican and Franciscan fly, as well as Jesuit's father, had already followed the path to preach Christianity firstly in his South Asia, Southeast Asia, and then in the Far East. The Society of Jesus recognized that to become a competent user of the local language was the most fundamental tool of communication in their ministry. Therefore, the constitution of the, uh, 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 the, uh, the constitution of the society. Uh, competing in 1552 suggests that every Jesuit missionary should realize the duty of his in enduring to learn the vernacular language well as an essential preparation. In 1549, a letter sent from Cochin in India to uh, Loyola, the general of the society, uh, Francis Xavier uh, commanded his colleague Henry Henley because of his mastery of written and spoken Tamil, he was able to work along with great profit. And because of that, uh, the other influential uh, Jesuit, Varigano, uh, when he was at uh, Goa in 1574, he implemented a policy, a uh, definite language policy, that is what we call the uh, accommodation policy uh, in language. And as a uh, predecessor of uh, uh, Jesuit, uh, was it China, uh, Rugieli, in Chinese, Lo Mingjian. And he uh, came to uh, China one and a half year uh, before uh, Matthew Ritchie, Lima Dou. Lima Dou, uh, when Lima Dou uh, first, firstly came to China in 18, uh, sorry, 1582, he was actively followed Varigano's strategy of uh, cultural accommodation. A uh, rich method of cultural accommodation was not an inflexible, inflexible policy, but an adaptation attitude developed on a child and, on a child and error basis. He observed that China was very intelligent and reasonable people and placed high priority on moral principle and ethical behavior and filled with admiration for science and technology. Here's the portrait, uh, the, the picture of uh, uh, Richie. In 1583, uh, Martin Ritchie uh, arrived in Guangdong, the northern part of Guangdong, Xiaoqing, where he built a church and the residence computer with a library. Uh, in a recent uh, acquired uh, uh, map, quite expensive, a six digit, in US, in US dollar. Uh, this is around 1585 to 1589, something like that, a map, and you can see at the location of the church in the northern part of China, uh, uh, of uh, Guangdong. 
It was very likely that between the year 1583 and 1588, when Ricci and Rigieri joined, jointly prepared a lexicographical work entitled Portuguese Chinese Dictionary, uh, this is a manuscript preserved in Vatican, which contained many translations of Western scientific and technical terminology. Uh, this is the original picture. Some of the entries uh, in the uh, Portuguese Chinese Dictionary might be associated with the making of guns and rubbles in the Portuguese arsenal in Goa in 1530 to 1580s. A number of technical terms of Portuguese matchlock gun can be identified in that part, uh, specific dictionary. So I will try to skip the uh, table. The one table, uh, on, uh, mainly on the, uh, the, the, the armament, the gunnery, and the guns, and the other table is about um, the, the optical uh, 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 device, uh, the glasses, and also armanacs, and also uh, uh, the striking wall, uh, 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 the striking uh, the wall clock. Okay. Um, Galenian telescopic uh, discovery. I mentioned this beforehand. I will try to skip it. Uh, oh, but I have to mention that guy. In March 1610, Galileo published the making of telescope and telescopic observation in a stereo messenger, or a stereo messenger in Venice, and he earned great reputation in Europe from then on. His telescopic discovery were further verified and was praised by the open mind, progressively Aristotelian and celebrated Jesuit mathematician Christopher Clavisus. He now, uh, today, is the December. Uh, 15 to uh, 2011, right? Is the, the calendar, the Gregorian calendar that he was in charge for the in Gregorian calendar, calendars. Uh, he never uh, visited China, but uh, since his name in uh, in in German, like a nail, ding, a nail. Nihongo nanduka, ano ginbeni cho. Uh, and his, t and his uh, student, Ricci, translate his work, uh, particularly on the commentary on uh, Euclidean element. And uh, his name, uh, because of the uh, nail, is not uh, no good. So, and then uh, delete the golden, the dean. And uh, so, what, what we call he, he uh, Ding Xian Sang, Ding Xian Sang. And he is the former professor of uh, uh, he is the former pro uh, professor of mathematics at Collegio Romano uh, in Rome. He trained um, a number of uh, Jesuits. Father later visited uh, China. Say, uh, Tang Rou Wang, uh, of course, Li Ma Dou, Long Hua Min, a lot of them. And uh, he uh, really appreciates uh, uh, Galileo uh, discovery. Um, and since he's uh, the uh, scientific icon of the Jesuit uh, uh, society, uh, Christopher Clavis is uh, um, have very great uh, influence to um, at that time. Uh, but anyway, the making of telescope and uh, Galenian telescopic uh, discovery spread quickly from Galileo to Romano through India to China among Jesuit missionaries. The first reference to the telescope and uh, a Galilean telescopic discovery in China in Chinese was the Tianwen Lu. With the help of Chinese scholar official Zhou uh, Xining, uh, etc., and it was published in 1615. And um, the over the main author of that book, uh, Emmanuel Dice, uh, Yang Ma Luo, added the last page of description of the telescope and its discovery, indicating that the telescope was not yet brought to China, and the news reached him only shortly before publication. This is the Tianmen uh, The last sentence, Dai Zi Qi, Zi Zhong Ge, Zi Ri, Hou, Xian Yan Zi Miao Yong Ye. And as a scientific uh, practitioner and a good friend of Galileo, uh, Johann Schreck, uh, later a double Latin name, Terence, in Chinese, Deng Yuhan, played a significant role in the process of intro introducing Galilean scholarship in China. 
He was a renowned Jesuit missionary, physician, naturalist, and mathematician, rules in many languages, and studied medicine and travel widely in Europe until he enrolled at the University of Paduda in 1603, where he became an acquaintance of Galileo. I will try to skip uh, some of it. Um, from 1616 to 1618, uh, Shred traveled all over Europe uh, as the advisor to Nicholas Trigal, Jing uh, Ni Ge. Uh, together, they were preparing the mission in, to China, collecting funds, books, and scientific instruments. Among them, uh, a telescope donated by uh, Cardinal uh, Federico uh, Borromeo of Mil. Milan on March uh, 1616, which was the first telescope to reach China in 1618 at the time Sirac entering Macau. With the help of uh, Chinese convert Li Li Zubo, uh, uh, Johann Adam Solomon Bell, Tang Ruang, published Yuan Xing Suo in 1626, which gave the first comprehensive account of the Galilean telescope and its, con and its construction, as well as uh, Galilean astronomical discovery and related illustration. This is the uh, main edition, and this is a Galilean uh, telescope. That is the, uh, um, the lunar uh, appearance uh, appear there. And several Chinese translation or optical terminology appear in the same book. Like a Jin Si, short sighted, Yuan Si, and the uh, lens and concave lens, convex lens, and so on. And, and also, Xie To, just a refraction, uh, quite early. In 1629, Xu Guang Qi became a senior vice minister in the Ministry of Rice. In his new position, Xu Guang Qi reported on the comp competition for predicting the solar ellipse of 1629. Chinese and Muslim prediction were not as accurate as the Jesuit determination of the time and length of the ellipse. When calls for calendar reform continued and drew government support, Xi Guangqi then announced the need for immediate calendar reform. He set up an, an office just uh, nearby the uh, Catholic Church at Beijing, now uh, Nantang, the Southern Church. The inauguration of formal astronomical reform system 1629 by Xi Guangqi, Li Zizhao, and um, his group of people, and also Jesuit mission, uh, led to the official compilation of an astronomical compendium, Chongzheng uh, Li Su, and construction of accurate instruments. Xi Guangqi therefore proposed to construct three telescopes. And for the observation of uh, seven luminary and ellipses in the same year, and they were used to observe this solar ellipse on October 1st, 1631. In 1635, uh, Jacob Ro, Ro Yagu, presented his astronomical work entitled Wei, Wei Li Zi. In, in, um, in this chapter, uh, in chapter 9 of this book, Laura uh, will cite the name Jia Li Lo, the Chinese translation name of Galileo, which was the first time appear in Chinese texts. And it is the Chongzheng Li Su, uh, preserved in, uh, now in, uh, in Beijing uh, Imperial Palace. And this is how uh, uh, Adam Song Bao uh, changed the title of uh, that book to the Xiang Xinfa Li Su. Uh, and in the introductory chapter of uh, Xiang Xinfa Li Su, uh, particularly on the Li Fa Si Chuan, uh, Adam Song Wong Bell uh, mentioned Zha Li Le Ah, just Galileo, the second translated name of Galileo, uh, about his achievement. That is the Xiang Xinfa Li Su. Um, we have a very good uh, edition of that book in preserving Jin Bong Ken. Thank you. Good night. So uh, now uh, I would like to move to uh, the other uh, scientific, uh, or, or, or particularly on the um, computational instrument, Galilean proportional sector or proportional compass. Before he devoted uh, himself to the making of telescope for observational purpose, Galileo 
shown great interest in making new mathematical instruments for ordinary uh, art of ballistic trajectory or the way. Uh, this is uh, uh, the dual, and this is the, the or original instrument. Uh, I'll try to skip the uh, technical uh, description. Uh, okay. Uh, I have to mention that. Uh, Galenian proportional compass carries six pairs of line scale on both front and back sides. Uh, you, uh, and this also translates into Chinese. The name of Galenian proportional compass was firstly translated as Du Su Ci, Rule of Proportional Measurement, in the section of Yuan Si Qi Qi Tu Suo Lu Jui, which was compiled by uh, Johann Schreck in, com in collaboration with Wang Zheng. But the details of Galenian proportional compass was not translated until Jacob's, uh, Jacob's Law, Bi Li Gui Jie, appeared. Uh, this is the Chinese translation of the uh, pairs of uh, lines appear in the, on the uh, compass, proportional compass. It's a Chinese trans the, the picture. Here I would like to just uh, mention two Chinese intellectuals uh, in the period of uh, um, early 7th century to late 7th century, Chen Jingmo. He was uh, a student of uh, Wang Daozhou, a very famous uh, scholar in the uh, Book of Changes, and also Fang Yizi. He also, uh, he himself, uh, studied the uh, Book of Changes and uh, Western uh, surveying. In his book, when he published his third book, Du Ce, in 1640, uh, in a section of uh, Chuan Qi, he mentioned about the uh, European uh, surveying uh, instrument and the calculating instrument, that is the uh, compass, that is the, uh, the, you see, the proportional compass. The other, Fang Zhongtong, uh, he is uh, also another famous mathematician in Lei Ming and early Qin. He, uh, his father, Fang Yizhi, I just earlier mentioned that, he is a good friend with uh, 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 Adam Solomon Bell. And in uh, Fang Zhongtong, Su Du Yan, uh, which was published in 1687, was basically a synthesis between traditional Chinese mathematics and Western uh, mathematics. And he called the, and he used this uh, uh, device to calculate about the uh, shadow, the change of shadow, and also this uh, the picture. His significant discourse on quadrant uh, or geometric squares, the wing, and also uh, the proportional compass was later edited by Mei Wending in an unpublished manuscript entitled San Jia Chiliang He Ding, with only the rare copy preserved in Tokyo. Okay, the last instrument that I will um, introduce to you, um, Galilean pendulum clock. Because of his mathematical approach to motion, Galileo was intrigued by the back and forth motion of a suspended weight in his early scientific career. In 1602, Galileo discovered the period of swing of a pendulum is dependent of its aperture, the arc of the swing, the isotronism of the pendulum. And this gave rise to his in-depth study of the pendulum, the first harmonic oscillator. It is widely known that Emperor Kangxi of Qing Dynasty had also an extremely strong interest in the pursuit of Western learning. Emperor Kangxi made considerable effort in studying mathematical and calendrical sciences with Jesuit missionaries, like uh, uh, Federin Rai Blaze, Nan Huai Ren, and so on. And, and, and uh, Emperor Kangxi discussed with uh, the Jesuits during um, his personal uh, tutoring section. He mentioned about uh, a, a device, a time checking instrument, Yan Si Yi. That Yan Si Yi, uh, the time checking instrument mentioned here, is a pendulum. Emperor Kangxi had first uh, heard about the pendulum more than 15 years earlier when Rai Blaze had written on ballistic for him around uh, late 1670 to early 1680. 
Rivate call the instrument in Latin uh, and in Chinese, Shi Xian Chu Yi. It literally means instrument with a spear on a perpendicular line in Chinese, in his book, Xin Zi Ning Tai Yi Shang Si. In fact, Right place, Su Xian Chu Yi was very likely received influence of Galilean study on pendulum and its application for astronomical computation as well as horological. Uh, horological means uh, watch or clock relating apparatus such as pendulum clock. Uh, this is the, uh, you see, the clock, and this is a pendulum here. A swing, uh, go and fall. Okay, Galilean science in Korea and Japan. During the main chain transition period, Chinese translated Western astronomic books and Western instruments were brought to Korea or Japan by diplomatic envoys, Jesuit missionary, could be a merchant of Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. They all travel among uh, these East Asian countries. There's a very clear uh, historical evidence that uh, Chinese translated Western astronomical books and Western telescope was brought into Korea. Uh, at the time, 1631, by Chong Tu Wong. Uh, this is uh, Chong Tu Wong. Uh, uh, they attribute that to him. And this is another telescope preserved in Korean museum. And this is the Tianwen Le, the Korean uh, uh, copy, not uh, uh, the Korean copy. Copy of Chong Zheng Li Su and Chong Zheng Li Su Li Ying. Uh, uh, that Chong Zheng Li Su Li Ying. Uh, laws in China, but it's a copy and also the Japanese edition preserved in Tenli, uh, Tenli uh, University, were circling among Japanese astronomical officials in that period, and they received a great influence from this astron astronomical compendium. Astronomical um, official of Tokugawa Sokunin, such as Yamaji. Uh, Lu Shizumi and his son Yamaji uh, Yuki Yoshi were widely regarded as experts on the study of Chongzheng Yisu by Japanese intellectuals. Yam uh, Yamaji Yuki Yoshi even wrote a commentary on Galilean proportional compass entitled uh, Hileshaku uh, Kaigi. You can see here. Huh? And, and this is a Chongzheng Yisu Li Yin, the telescope, the Japanese edition. Uh, and this is the uh, that one uh, in Tokyo in Todai and moreover the term of Chu uh, Xian Chu Yi was widely used among Japanese astronomers in Tokugawa Japan but it was slightly changed as Chu Yi You Chu Yi Su Yo Kyogi in uh, Kansei Lake in 1789 a real uh, Suyo Kyugi was constructed by Toda uh, Tosaburo, a cock maker in Kyoto, um, quite nearby uh, our hotel. Under the direction of free Japanese Confucian astronomical mathematician Asada Goryu, Takahashi Yoshitoki, and Hama uh, Hazama uh, Shiketoki, this cock used for astronomical observation is a balanced cock controlled by long pen pendulum and light bulb swinging at the side of the, uh, of the case, which has two crown with escapement and an uh, anchor of the specific shape. Uh, this is the, uh, the picture for that uh, uh, instrument made by Japanese uh, astronomer and the other. Okay, concluding remarks. In the 7th century, Chinese scholar official faced various challenges from the West. In order to strengthen the content of traditional Chinese science, Chinese scholar officials made the use of traditional thought arising from the Yi Jing, Zhou Bi, Suan Jing, and Zhou Duan to re reinforce their theoretical or philosophical fundamentals. Since Western learning performed practical value, research, researches on Western learning became a prevailing subject of the practical learning among Chinese scholar officials. Apart from the aforementioned Chinese convert main intellectuals and lawyers such as Fang Yizi and his son Fang Zhongtong and uh, Fang Yizi's friend Chen Zimo had shown great interest on Galilean science, notably telescope and astronomical discovery, as well as proportional compass and conduct research on uh, 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 Jacobus Raw's book, book, 
Likewise, German Confucian astronomical mathematician discussed the relation between the traditional Confucian six arts arising from Zhao Li and the significance of learning mathematics. And so I have to uh, just uh, end here. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>